Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. You know, one of the big differences between turkeys and chickens is that turkeys have what's called a snood. Doesn't matter if you're talking male or female, all turkeys have this, but it's the most prominent in the male species, particularly the mature tom gobbler. And people go, gosh, that sure does make the turkey ugly. What is that thing? You know, it looks nasty. They look weird with it. What does it do? The snood is a long fleshy apparatus that dangles from the gobbler's beak. And hens will have them. Younger male birds called jakes will have them, but they tend to just be small little nubs up on their forehead. Nobody really knows exactly what purpose they serve on the hens. I've read some stuff that says it might be for regulating body temperature, but for the most part, you'll just see that little stem coming off their forehead on the hens. The gobblers get the great big long dangly ones and you say well what are these for well it's primarily for mating purposes the gobbler is considered to be a very healthy bird when he has a long snood so hens when they're looking to mate they want to select a gobbler that's got the longest snood and what will happen in mating season is he will really extend that thing and it'll turn bright red because of the blood flow and the hormones and stuff and that is how he essentially attracts his ladies and they know that he's a good healthy bird because he's got a long snood. A shorter snood means he's probably a jake. He's not really a fully mature bird that they want to mess with. It could also mean maybe there's been some health issues. You know, birds have parasites, they get sick, something's got them down. The snood won't develop and grow as long. So the hens feel secure and comfort mating with a gobbler that has a longer snood because they know he's a healthy gobbler and it's just a thing that attracts them. Now, when they go to eat, what you'll notice there with the feeding video is that he'll actually draw it up and he can actually retract that so that he can peck food and uh, chew and stuff without actually biting himself because it kind of looks like it's in the way most of the time, but they can draw it up. So, you know, if a turkey is walking around, he's a male turkey, and he's got his snood drawn up, it's probably because he is content feeding or eating something. He's not worried about mating. If you see him puffed up and strutting around somewhere, he's probably gonna have that snood dangling and it'll be flopping all around. And you say, well, that's nasty. Well, that's what it's for. It means you have a healthy bird. And if he's got a good bright red long snood, it means the hens are looking to mate with him because they like that. Speaking of ladies, here they are. The new hens are doing really well, and they are never more than just a few feet from Junior because they love him. Is Junior a ladies' man? Yeah. Well, there you have it. As the mood changes, the snood changes. And right now, Junior's is long and dangly, which means he is healthy and happy, and he's trying to attract a mate. And they probably find him really incredibly irresistible because of that long snood. But when I bring out french fries, Cheez-Its, or a banana, that snood's gonna shrivel up because at that point he wants to eat and it gets in his way. Now we know what it's for. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer. We're signing out.